Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Nick and today I'm going to show you mistakes that people make when they create a lead generation funnel or when they create an opt-in funnel. It's the same thing, just people call it differently, but it essentially has the same purpose to get leads inside your funnel, inside your business. And we're going to discuss specifically the opt-in funnel created in ClickFunnels and I'm going to show you a couple of mistakes that I've seen people making over and over again. So I've seen people doing the same thing and I decided to make this video so that uh, my audience and those who are interested in figuring out why their opt-in funnel doesn't work uh, can benefit out of this video. So stay till the end, I'm going to show you five things uh, or maybe more about uh, why your opt-in funnel is not working. Maybe it's something technical or something uh, that has to do with the layout or with the structure of the funnel. So let's jump into my computer and as you can see here, I have... Um, five things here. So the first thing is the bad and action. So as you know, in ClickFunnels, so I'm going to show you one of my funnels, which is for lead generation. And if we open this, and as you can see here, I have the first page, which for example, let's take this offer funnel, um, e-com funnel. So here people can uh, put their email and their um, um, name and they're gonna get the checklist and the share funnel that I made for those who are doing e-commerce with click funnels. And as you can see I have it's really simple I have a headline telling exactly what this is then I have the inputs for name and email and then the button not complicated really simple and um, easy to do as a beginner so that's how I'm collecting leads for my business which is affiliate marketing and I'm gonna fill it with ClickFunnels. Uh, I'm a partner. Uh, I'm I'm just promoting ClickFunnels because I use it every day, and I believe it's a great software. So um, so people, what they do is they have the on the edit page when they create the opt-in funnel. Here they instead of uh, setting the action here, you see every single button inside the funnel has an action, and if we click on it, you can see here set action, and people do like. Uh, go to website URL or go to next step in funnel and these both are wrong if you want to click the um, e name and email so as you can see if I click on go to next step in funnel it's, it says this does not submit your form so it's really popular mistake that beginners do they think that if it's gonna go to the next step in funnel then uh, the funnel is gonna capture the name and email but it's actually not um, it's just gonna go to the next step in funnel, but the contact, the information that they put in is not gonna be saved in your um, ClickFunnels account or, or in your autoresponder. So you need to always select submit order form. And now if you want people, for example, if you're doing affiliate marketing with ClickBank and you want people after they submit information here to not go to the next, um, next step in the funnel, but to actually go to um, another page so you want to direct them to the, your field thing so you need to go to general here and put in your next page in the funnel so as you can see on submit it goes to another page which is my page and that's where they can get the information and um, but in your case if you're doing affiliate marketing you can put any link in here and after they submit you will still get the name and email in your dashboard but you're going to direct them to the, another page so that's the first mistake that people do then the second one is um, page is not optimized and I made a whole video with 12 mistakes that you can do with 12 things that are not recommended when you're doing um, an opt-in funnel or lead generation funnel so you can collect leads not necessarily only for uh, affiliate marketing you can also be a consultant a coach a trainer who needs lead or any any business out there needs leads because that's the process in a funnel so you need leads and then they become your client so you have Traffic goes to your funnel, then they become your lead, then they become your clients, and they become your uh, repeated clients. That's how businesses work. So the first thing is that um, button action, and the second thing is uh, page not optimized. And you can find a video. I'm gonna put a link below for the video. It's a bunch of mistakes that um, you can avoid. A recommendation on how to make the page convert more. So. If you're gonna follow all of those, you're gonna get like 30 to 50 percent uh, opt-in rate, which means if you're gonna send 100 people, 30 to 50, maybe 43 people, for example, will join uh, your page. So we'll actually submit information, but you can get more. It depends on how uh, how um, hot the traffic you're sending is. And if you don't know the difference between cold, warm, and hot traffic, there's also a video that I made that should be below. 
So if you have some people that already know who you are and what to expect on that page, they're more likely to put in their information and to get um, that um, freebie that you're giving, for example, and you will actually have them as a lead. So that's the second one. And the third one is no policies at the bottom. So <laughs> that's, that's one I'm guilty of as well. So you need to have uh, policies. Um, some people call, in the, in the ClickFunnels community, they call it legal junk. But it's required if you're doing anything online, you need to have privacy policy, then you need to have terms of service, and if you're selling, then you need refund policy as well. These three are required and you need to have them. There are websites where you can find, um, you can find the templates. So for example, I'm gonna give you this website. So if I go to my terms, which is my own terms of service on my website, so you can see there's this website, which I'm gonna put below as well, terms and condition, uh, conditions template.com generator and you're going to be able to select some option there and it's going to generate this page for you so you're going to be um, it's going to be really easy for you and same for privacy policy and refund policy as well and uh, the third one is this one and the fourth one is front end offer so you don't have a front end offer and this thing is really important if you're running ads you obviously have costs so you are spending money to get traffic to your page so you need to somehow get that money back so i'm going to show you how i'm doing this this is something that i learned from russell Brunson and also in the one pound away challenge which i took and um, it's essentially selling something instead of showing people the thank you page which brings you no benefit at all so they input the lead, um, they put the information, they become your lead, and you know they're interested. You know they would want more information after they see your uh, ebook, for example. And it's logical that you show them an offer. So you're gonna make some money and they're gonna get more value from you. So I'm gonna show you how I do it. So when somebody submits information here, they're gonna go to the thank you page. And as you can see, I'm gonna show you how thank you page looks like. And I'm actually presenting the a book from um, ClickFunnels and it comes at no cost for me because um, it's uh, I don't ship it, it's affiliate marketing and when people buy it I make one dollar but it's no big deal because uh, as you know uh, ClickFunnels has this um, sticky cookie policies if somebody buys the book then they're gonna be sticky cookie and if they buy something else afterwards the bra uh, like uh, ClickFunnels will know that they come from me and I'm gonna get like, I, I'm still gonna get commission, but um, this book, I'm, I'm honestly not selling for commission. It's really valuable, I read it. Uh, I still go back and check some information from there because it's practical, the information there is, I apply it myself. And as you can see here, it's some for some reason it loads really uh, slow. But essentially on the thank you page, I have this offer, which is this, um, uh, video where I tell people what the dot-com secrets is about and how can they get for free because it's actually free Russell Brunson wants people to have this and it doesn't cost anything you only need to cover shipping which is uh, obviously really cheap for less than eight bucks you can still you can get this book and uh, here I just invite them to get the book or to join my group which is also something that I recommend for lead generation and or to subscribe to my YouTube channel Okay, so that's um, the fourth one and the fifth one for those who are doing lead generation with click funnels or any type of funnel. This is somewhat general. Is not getting help. So as you know, um, click funnels. Besides being a great software, it has all these uh, affiliates. So people who uh, are partnering with click funnels and are selling the, these services. And the thing is, affiliates offer help. So for example, I'm an affiliate, I'm a partner of ClickFunnels, and I offer help to people. So when somebody signs up with ClickFunnels, they will, um, it's easy to use, but they will have a, a time, like a learning curve, which they uh, can cut if they get somebody to help them. And I help people, I have two groups, one is free and the other one is paid. So it's, it's not um, for a cost, but it, the only way to get in is to uh, actually get something from ClickFunnels with my links. And uh, that's how I'm able to give support and give time to those people who join with my links. And I'm interested that they succeed because that's how they're going to keep using the software and I'm going to get my commissions. And that's what I teach as well. Uh, and when you're going to get help, you're usually going to get bonuses. And that's something that I have as well. And I also give uh, bonuses for signing up with the One Follow Away Challenge. You can see all the links below. 
And uh, that's what another mistake that you need to uh, not make. You should get help. You should not figure it out, out on your own because it's going to take you more time. Okay? So I hope you got value from this. I wish I would have got uh, somebody to tell me all these mistakes in the beginning. Like I started with ClickFunnels about a year ago and I'm an affiliate for about two months maybe. So I was using it in the beginning for my service uh, business. Okay? So if you got value, leave the like and if you like uh, like content with um, about uh, online marketing, about click funnels, about affiliate marketing, about starting a business online, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow in my next video.